I'm sure many of the patients that you see have cancer already. How much do you focus on prevention for some of your patients? Uh, I would imagine you would like to see more of those patients and not the ones that already have the disease. What sort of tips do you have for that? Yeah, so prevention is great. It's a great place to start. And then once you're done with chemotherapy or radiation or natural therapies and your tumors are gone, you're, you're going back into that preventative mode. So we have two roles of prevention. One is to prevent cancer from ever starting. And the second role of prevention is to reduce your risk of recurrence or making sure that cancer doesn't come back. And so I love this idea of prevention on both sides of the spectrum. And that's why I come, came up with the Great Life Program, which is five simple things that you can do to reduce your risk of cancer, which is to get active, to reduce your risk by looking at your blood panels like vitamin D, your inflammatory markers, things like that. Um, to add meaning to your life through prayer or meditation, yoga, to think green, and to also eat to live and think about our plates as a way to really nourish our bodies and nourish ourselves to replicate in a healthy way. Mm. Can you go into a couple of those a little bit more? Sure. When you talk about think green, um, you're not talking <laughs> about driving electric cars, or is that, are you talking about <laughs> diet or, you know? Yeah, so thinking green, you know, it's been shown over and over again that we are heavily influenced by our surrounding environment. I don't think anybody would be again saying that you know the chemicals that we're exposed to now are different than what we were sure. exposed to 50 years ago and this is drastically changing the way our cells are dividing and replicating. We're seeing it in young children in what age they reach puberty so kids are reaching puberty at a younger and younger age, and that's been linked back to plastics and pesticide exposure. And then in adulthood, we're seeing earlier and earlier onset of cancer and other diseases that used to only hit people when they were in their 70s, 60s, and now it's hitting in their 30s and 40s. Um, the Environmental Working Group has some great resources that look at how chemicals are influencing our cellular environment. And I love pointing my patients towards some of that information. It's, it's so cheesy to say think green sometimes because I think it's a coined term that's mm -hmm. overused. But when you think about what you're inhaling and exhaling every single day from your carpets to that nice yeah. little Febreze scent that you have in your car, you know, these are chemicals that are interacting with our bodies and most people aren't aware that they're actually inhaling formaldehyde and other things that are influencing their cell division.